Hey, hello there guys, Proxens here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon series on the channel. So in the previous episode, we entered this town, or rather this city, because this is Kony Kony City, and we're going to explore it a little bit before we actually get started with what we need to do in terms of the story and stuff. So let's explore the stores. And let's see what we can do, because there's a clothing store here that we can go inside and purchase clothing from. So what options do we have in terms of clothing? Let's see here. Okay, we have that. And then we have some t-shirts. Okay. Cool. We have some shorts. Okay. Some shoes. Ooh, these are interesting shoes. And we also can change up the backpack if we want to. Okay, that's cool. I don't know how I feel about any of these backpacks, though, because they're not that cool. We can also purchase a new hat, but I don't really need a new hat. So for now, I'm not going to purchase any of the clothing in the store. So let's exit the store and... I guess we can look around at some of the other stores because there are a few other ones. So, hello there. What? Okay. Interesting. So, yeah, that's interesting. I'm just going to walk away and I'm going to get started with the story so here we go we need to go inside this building and there's a nose pass over there hello the pokemon is holding a letter you take the letter and read it olivia here this is probopass whoops i said nose pass that's its first stage this is the evolved form of nose pass Anyways, let's see here. It watches the shop whenever I'm away. I know I, like, asked you to meet me here, but there's been a change of plans. Come meet me at the Ruins of Life past Memorial Hill when you can. Okay, I can do that. And it appears that Probopass is going up to the second level and is coming back down with something, I guess. What's going on? Medicine? A max potion. Okay. That's neat, I guess. Thanks. See you later, Probopass. I'm just going to exit the store. And I guess we can go over to Memorial Hill. But we should probably go into the Pokemon Center first. And we should heal up our Pokemon before we decide to go over to the location of the Kahuna since we might be walking into the Grand Trial, and I want to make sure that I'm prepared for that. So there we go, and now I'm going to exit the Pokemon Center, so then we can run over to Memorial Hill. So let me actually get onto Taros, and where is Memorial Hill? Okay, let's see here. Can I open up the map? Yes, I can. So, it's over here. Okay. So, let's run over that way, and let's go and see what's going on. Here we go. And then we have to run through this area over here. Okay. And we just have to go through Memorial Hill in order to get over to the ruins. So let's be careful as to avoid any unnecessary encounters. Okay, here we go, and let's walk by you. Or, you know what, let's fight this person, because then we can get some more... What? Um, this person's saying something a bit weird. Okay then, what I was going to say before I read what this person said is we can get some more experience, which makes it so our Pokemon are higher leveled and then we're better prepared for the fight with the Kahuna, but this person's saying something really weird. Which Pokemon do you think is fitting with the Grave? Let's battle. Perhaps you'll find it out. That's very, very weird. 
I think she wants to take down her Pokemon, and I don't think she wants to just make them faint. I think she wants it to be more than that. Okay then! Well, I can't let that happen, so let's win this fight against this Furfuro. We're going to use Razor Leaf. Ooh, it's using Bite. I'm glad that Dartrix is still a Dartrix right now, because if it was a Decidueye, then that attack would have been a bit more effective against us. And now it's using Tail Whip, which decreases our defense. And we're using Pluck in order to do some more damage. I really wish we had some Pokemon that was more powerful. Because we really don't right now. And that's kind of disappointing. Because none of our Pokemon are super effective against this thing. Everything's just effective. Except for Dartrix's Ominous Wind. Because that's just not going to do anything. Anyways. Let's try using this attack again. And also, I need to switch... Oh, okay then. I need to switch the Z-Power Crystal that I have on Dartrix, because the one that's on Dartrix right now isn't that good. So I'm going to get the Grass-type one, most likely. Also, I love how our attack just got decreased. That's spectacular. Okay, here we go. Come on. Do not lose this fight. Okay, Dartrix keeps on flinching, so I need to go over here to our items. And I don't have any more good healing items, so I'm just going to use the Soda Pop. And that should take Dartrix up to 71? Yes, okay. Awesome. And it keeps using Headbutt. Are you kidding me? I'm just trying to win this fight here. You don't need to be so mean. Even though... This lady wants to put one of our Pokemon in the grave, so I should be a bit more careful as to ensure that none of them go down. So, let's keep using Pluck, and hopefully it doesn't take us down. Okay, that's a bit too close for comfort. I'm going to switch to someone. How about Splatoon? I think Splatoon would be wonderful in this situation because Splatoon is most likely not going to be taken down by... Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? <sighs> okay then. Well, let's use Foul Play, and let's use it again and again and again until we can finally... Really? Okay, be careful, because it might use that attack again, and it didn't, so that's good. Okay, our defense rose. That's nice. So that'll make it more difficult for the Furfuro to win the fight. Come on, can you increase it again? Yes, awesome. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. I really, really hope that it keeps using stuff that increases our, like, stats. No, not Bite. Actually, no, that's not bad. Because it's not actually going to take us down. So, that's wonderful, and I'm using a fresh water on Splatoon, so then Splatoon is healed up. It used Bite again, okay, respectable. A respectable attack from the Furfuro, and it keeps using that attack, okay, sure, that's fine. Well, it looks like one more foul play is going to take this thing down most likely. So is Baby Doll Eyes going to increase our stats? Yes, it is. Nice. And this should take it down now. There we go. Furfuro fainted. And the issue that arises now is the fact that we have to deal with a second Pokemon. And I don't really know who this second Pokemon is. Oh, it's a Comfey. Okay. Okay. Um. That's fine. Let's use Foul Play. Sweet Kiss? Okay. Fine. It's an okay attack. It won't really do much other than confusing us. Please don't hurt yourself. Please don't hurt yourself. Please don't hurt yourself. Yes! Okay, cool. As long as we can... Okay, that was not very effective. Oh boy, this is bad. 
How about we use hypnosis? I think hypnosis would be a wonderful idea right now. Come on, use hypnosis. There we go, and there we go. Okay, now here's the difficult thing. I have to be very careful as to ensure that Splatoon doesn't go down because it has wrap being used on it right now and that's not very good. So let's use Psybeam and let's do a good chunk of damage here. So, okay, that barely did anything. That really barely did anything. Okay. Switch the Pokemon again! Awesome! I love how we keep doing this. Truly spectacular. I guess I'll bring out Lightning. Oh, Splatoon can't be switched out because Rap is being used! That's an issue. That's a really big issue. Let's use Peck. The good thing is that Comfey is still fast asleep. So, I can use Peck here and that'll do some damage, and the rap will continue to do more damage to us, so I need to be careful, because I do need to heal up right now, so that's not really that good anymore. That's not really that good either. I don't want to waste it, but... Okay, I guess the best option here is a potion. I was going to use a max potion, but I really don't want to waste that right now. Especially since we just got it. So let's see here. Rap is being used once again. And it keeps doing damage. That sucks. That really sucks. Okay. I could hypnosis again. That's probably the best thing to do. Especially since it just continues to use that attack. No, it avoided the attack. This is an issue. This is a really big issue. Okay, it's using growth. Nice. That'll just increase its attack and special attack, but we're going to use hypnosis, which means that it's going to fall asleep. And thus, I can continue to use peck, so then we can probably win this. I hope. Come on. Come on. If we just spam peck, that'll be the way to go. <laughs> there we go. Keep using peck. It's the best option. Really the best option. Okay, Sweet Kiss. I wish we didn't avoid that because we would have gotten an increase in our stats. And that would have been nice, but I guess it's okay. Let's just use Peck once again and uh, let's see what happens. Let's see here. Okay, Peck. And one more hit. One more hit is all we need to do, and then we can take down the Comfy. Come on. Come on, use Peck! Just use Peck! There we go! <sighs> we did it. Nice. Nice. Okay, there we go. We took down Comfy. Anybody going to level up? Yes, Screech is growing to level 24. Cubowack grew to level 22. And thus... We won the fight. Wonderful. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to go over here to the rideable Pokemon and I need to take Charizard over to the nearest Pokemon Center because we do need to sort of kind of heal up since we just got a lot of damage done to us, especially on two Pokemon. So let's go inside the Koni Koni Pokemon Center. And let's heal up our Pokemon. There we go. Okay. Our Pokemon are being healed up. And once they're done, I can run back over to Memorial Hill. Or actually, you know what? We can take Charizard over to Memorial Hill. I think. Let's check. Okay, Charizard. Can we go over there? No. Yes, yes we can. Awesome. Okay, well, that saves us from having to walk that tiny little distance, but, you know, it's good. And now I'm going to get onto Taros, and I'm going to run into Memorial Hill, and I'm going to, you know, go through here, if we could actually manage to do that. 
There we go. So we need to run up here, run over this way, and then walk by that trainer. Oh, is that... That's a Team Skull Grunt. Why are they here? Do they have a reason to be here? That's kind of weird. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So, let's run away from this fight. Because I'd rather deal with the Team Skull Grunts instead of the Pokemon in the grass. So, hello there. How's it going? Oh, no. This isn't a Team Skull Grunt. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, no. It's just the trainer type. Because they wear outfits that are very similar to Team Skull. So, yeah. I'm just going to take down this trainer with one attack. Hopefully. This should be able to take it down, I think. How do you have that attack? What? I didn't know an Ariados could learn that attack. That's very interesting to keep in mind. I really didn't know it could learn a ghost type attack. That's kind of weird. It's a bug type, but yet it knows a ghost type attack. Okay then. Well, anyways, on a better note, Dartrix has grown to level 29, and Burb grew to level 24. And there we go, we took down the Team Skull look-alike, and we can continue going through the route here. So be careful, and of course I took the wrong path. Wonderful. Let's go back. Here we go, careful. There we go. What's going on over here? Team Skull, give back that Pokemon. Don't give me trouble, I'll reduce you to rubble. That's right, we're gonna sell this Pokemon to get rich, and we won't make no bones about it. If you want it back, you're gonna have to take it. I like how Slowpoke is just there like, oh, okay. That's cool. Stand firm. Think of what the president would say. That's what you say, chief, but you don't lift a finger. Why, I am the Aether Foundation's last line of defense. What would become of the Foundation if something were to happen to me now? Hello there. Ah, here is a promising young trainer. Fight in my steed, child, and round these Team Skull ruffians. I will bestow honor upon you if you do. Okay. You ready? Because I was born ready, yo. Okay, sure. This will be easy. We've fought Team Skull so many times. And they don't learn the lesson. They just keep trying to fight us. And I have a feeling that these are the same trainers that we've fought multiple times. They just keep coming back. And they're like, oh, okay, this will be easy. But really, it's not. Because they keep on losing. <sighs> well, it's okay. Let's use Razor Leaf. I think that'll be good. I hope. Okay, Razor Leaf, how much damage is that going to do? Not bad. I mean, it's not as good as I was hoping, but that's fine because we can just use it again and we'll be able to win the fight after a few usages of the Razor Leaf uses, rather. Not usages. <laughs> okay, anyways, putting that to the side. <laughs> Let's see here. I got 567 experience, and there we go. We won the fight. Okay, cool. That loss was pathetic. Your moves were so kinetic. We don't need this Pokemon anyway. Take it then. Good luck and good riddance. Okay, see you later. Phew. Okay, so Slowpoke is saved. Thanks, kid. Yes, indeed, you are a trial goer, aren't you? You're a splendid trainer. I'm deeply impressed. I'd like to reward you by showing you something truly astounding. Once you have finished your grand trial, come to Hano Grand Result, and I will take you to see a wondrous place. Thank you for helping us. Okay. 
Well, I'm curious to find out what this wondrous place is because I have no idea what it could be. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go up here. Ooh, there's an item over there, but I'm going to avoid that for now since I would much rather... Oh, no! How did he notice us? I was trying to avoid him. He turned at the most opportune second because of that. He is now in a fight with us. Okay, wonderful. Crab Brawler. Okay. That's an easy one to take down. So, here we go. We just need to use Razor Leaf. Okay, actually no, because that's a bad idea since we could have used Pluck, and that would have been so much better. Well... Okay. That sucks. We got taken down. That's really bad. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. We can just use Psybeam. Psybeam will be okay. Let's go. Psybeam! Awesome! It's using Dizzy Punch. Not that awesome because that did way too much damage. What? Okay. What? How did it do so much damage to us with one attack? That's weird, but it's okay because we won the fight. Lightning grew to level 25 and wants to learn the move Crunch. That is not bad, but I don't really need Lightning to learn Crunch because we have a Splatoon. So, yeah, that's the only thing. Okay, so what do we have here now that we've defeated that trainer? Anything else to do? Oh. Okay. Cutscene. Awesome! So you're the one Gladion was talking about. Hmm. <laughs> you don't look like anything special to me. Okay. That's a bit mean if you ask me, but okay. I'm Plumeria. I help keep Team Skull together. I'm like a big sister to all these numbskulls. You have realized what idiots all these guys are, right? But don't you think some dummies are cute in their dumbness? You know what I mean, right? You picking on my cute dumb brothers and sisters is really annoying me. I wish I could have healed up my Pokemon. Why does this have to happen now, after I've just dealt with Team Skull numbskulls? We're having to deal with one of the heads of these numbskulls. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's use Spark. Oh wait, this is actually a really good situation! This is really, really good for us. This is actually amazing because we have Lightning out on the field, and there's a Flying type out on the field, and Lightning is about to use Spark. Never mind, it hurt itself in its confusion. I retract my statement. I originally said that this is a good situation, but it's not. It's not a good situation. I mean, if Lightning can use a Spark once again without hurting itself, and without getting taken down by the wing attack, then we're good to go. There we go! Nice! This isn't as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> because initially I thought it would be good, but then it wasn't. But now it's good again. So that's good. <laughs> I don't need to learn Rage, it's not that good of an attack. Ooh, Salandit. Okay, I'm going to bring out Burb, because Burb has a Water-type attack, and that is going to be able to take down this Pokémon quite easily. So here we go, bringing in Burb, and Burb, I want you to use Water Pulse. Here we go. Water Pulse, and take this Pokemon down! Poison Gas! Why? Why did you have to go and use that? It's okay. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine! Just use Water Pulse once again, and then take this thing down. Also, one thing I need to do is check when our Pokemon are going to evolve because I'd like to know 
So then I am prepared for the evolution and I can like try to level up our Pokemon to that point. So let's see here. Nobody's evolving. That kind of sucks, but it's okay. Okay, you're kind of strong, but mess with anyone in Team Skull again, and I'll show you how serious I can get. Okay, sure, whatever. I kind of doubt that anything bad's going to happen with Plumeria. Also, why does this have to happen right now? One of my Pokemon is fainted, one of them is poisoned, one of them has really low health. <sighs> That's disappointing. Well, for now, I'm going to end off this episode here, so thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And, well, as always, I'll see you all in the next episode of the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon series on the channel. Bye, everybody.